Welcome to, to Mother Daughter Projects. Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're going to take this basic closet in my house and turn it from this to this. Normally you see us in the garage surrounded by power tools, but we have a surprisingly large number of craft supplies and we really need a way to organize those things as well as our seasonal decor. So we came up with this idea and we pitched it to Home Depot and they loved it. So we're excited to be partnering with them on this project. We're calling this a semi-DIY because we're using all pre-made components and what we're really doing here is doing an install. So come join us as we show you how it all came together. The first step was to paint the closet. This was mom's idea. Are you surprised at the color she picked? It's called Real Teal by Bayer Paint. I might have gone with the purple, but that's just me. Next, we measure the distance on the inside wall with our laser measure. Then we cut six sections of closet rod to that measurement. This can be cut in many different ways. We chose our reciprocating saw with metal cutting blade. We cleaned up any sharp edges with a metal file. Back in the closet, we measured and placed three sets of closet pull sockets on each side. Once we got one side in place, we leveled out the rod and attached the other side. This will house wrapping paper and tall items that need to be stored. We bought two pre-made cabinets from HomeDepot.com and unboxed them in the space. We really like that everything is assembled and all you have to do is attach the wheels. We were able to quickly clean up some of our mess with our new Ryobi cordless wet dry vac. It really came in handy in this project. Yep, that's right. It's battery powered and it's really light. Now on to hanging the pegboard. We went with metal pegboard because we like the clean look, strong peg system, and easy install. For each panel, we marked and drilled six holes, added the included anchors, and screwed them into place. Next, we marked the three rail location for our shelves and drilled pilot holes. Again, we utilized our wet dry vac to collect the drywall dust as we drilled. We attached the wall anchors in each rail. With the rails in place, we added the brackets. Then we added the 72 inch melamine shelves. Next, we attached the brackets to the bottom of the shelves for extra support. All the screws we use for the shelves can be purchased in a package all together. So we just finished the closet install, so now we're here at the Home Depot to pick up some craft supplies. So come join us! Back in the closet, we attached the metal pegs. Half the pegs come with the pegboard and we bought another set of pegs to add too. We'll add a link to all the products we use on our website. This is the first time we're using metal pegboard and we're really impressed with the strength of the pegs and variety of styles available. 
We filled up the shelves and the cabinets below. This closet will also store my gift wrapping supplies, as you can see with the bows and wrapping paper I've added. One nice feature of the cabinets is each drawer comes fully out so you can take them out when you're working. The bigger side also has a lot of space for larger items. After all that was filled, we realized we had some extra space on the side of the closet. So we grabbed a nail and added our cutting board, which is always a hard thing to store. The smaller crate that we picked up at Home Depot got spray painted with a purple glitter. Whoops, that's the spot. I feel like we always say this, but we're really excited about how this turned out. I spent about a week planning out the closet, drawing up designs, and trying out different products digitally in the space. To see it all come together, well, that's just really cool. The top shelves are going to be great to store seasonal decor and staging items. Now, let's take a, a closer, closer look. Everything we installed here can be found at homedepot.com. And what's neat is if there's something that don't actually have in the store, you can have it delivered for free to the store and then you can pick it up. So we did that with a couple of these items and that was really convenient. Having the wheels on these cabinets make them easy to move around and you can move them around in different configurations. You can work on it just like this, stand in the closet and, and work, or you can pull them out easily on wheels. I think it's a great idea you can put them back to back and you have a little larger surface. And we do a lot of cutting up of old t-shirts. We could just put this up, get an old t-shirt, and do our cutting right here. And the height is absolutely perfect. Before we wheel these back in place, I wanna show you guys that the rods that we installed on the sides are great for putting tape on, you could put ribbon on. You could also take some of the rods out and hang some gift bags. This is a project that we really needed to do to get organized and we wanted to share it because we felt like this is something that you could take and adapt to whatever kind of crafting or sewing or whatever kind of needs that you have and make it your own. We want to thank you guys for joining us and as always you can find all our projects at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube, click the bell and you'll be alerted to all our new videos. So everything we installed here can oh. be... <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. To me for some reason. <laughs> I was so natural that you were like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Okay. I'm talking to them. Okay. I'm talking to them. But you turned towards me. <laughs>